Fort Worth fam, what's going on? It's the kid Fort Worth Fabian, Big Boss Fable, man. I'm back with a video, and this video is a little bit different, as you guys can see by the title, man. Cliche to say, but hey, it's true to the fact, man. A lot of you, um, you know, viewers come to the channel probably suspecting or expecting certain things from my channel. And I don't want to throw you guys off or confuse you thinking that, you know, I'm only going to do this or that kind of content, you know, that's not the case. So with this, you know, I want to be able to, um, you know, bring you guys along with me on my ride and my journey for various things that I do. You know, to me, really, if I do YouTube, I should post everything to my YouTube. It's like a, it's not really like a vlog type thing, but it's like, it's, a, it's me. You know, I know you guys, you know, like the content I post, et cetera, et cetera. But I like I'd love to say that you guys like me as well and are willing to, um, you know, um, you know, uh, go along the journey and whatever I do with me, you know, and I, I want to be able to showcase that with you guys. And you follow with me, you guys that follow me, I appreciate the follow. I appreciate the support. But yeah, man. So basically semen retention, man, you see a lot of it on YouTube. A lot of guys speak about it. A lot of people speak about um the, the the benefits the effects it has on you over a course of time how priorities are realigned and you just become a better man you're you're retaining energy um and you're more focused you know um there's various there's a the list goes on of benefits to semen retention man and um you know i want to get back on that journey um as you can see i relapsed right and this is a, this is a while ago, you know, I'm not going to act like I've been on a journey now, but um, I went like three months without, um, you know, fondling, you know, but anyways, I went three months, man, and it was a good three months. And I really want to speak on my experience and, um, you know, um, related to a lot of the experiences, a lot of other guys you know, um, can relate to or deal with or go through, you know, and, and it's a tough thing when, you know, addiction is tough to break, but doesn't mean it's not possible. It's a tough thing when you get used to something and you're in the routine and then you try to break that routine. So, um, you know me, I, I, I was sexually active. I've been sexually active, man, but, you know, as men, you know, I feel like society kind of brainstorms and, um, or not brainstorms, hypnotizes you in a sense to where it's like, you know, if you ain't chasing women, you're lame. If you're a virgin, you're a lame. If you ain't doing that, you're a lame. And that ain't the case, man. I commend and I respect anybody who choose to beat to beat to their own drum and do things the way they choose to do them, regardless of what society tells them or, you know, what what what's pushed on them, other insecurities, et cetera, et cetera, all that. So. With that being said, I respect it and I commend it in that regard, man. Do what you want to do for your own life. And, um, you know, me more recently, I had uh, chosen to, uh, you know, uh, not masturbate, not get with girls, not have sexual intercourse. And this was like in October, you know, so I went a couple of months, three months, man, I didn't do anything and I felt great. A lot of people talk about more energy you have, uh, 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 more mental focus. And I, I experienced all those different things. And I felt like more of my thinking power, more of my prowess was focused into a certain lane, goals, things I wanted to accomplish, achieve, working out, eating better, drinking a lot of liquid, you know, specifically water. I drank a whole lot of water. Um, and, and yeah, man, it's definitely true to the fact when you're not focused on something or when you realign priorities, of course, it's going to make room for other priorities. And that's exactly what happened, you know. Uh, I was taking a, I'm taking a deep spiritual walk, you know, in terms of like, i uh, reading my Bible, you know, um, a lot of prayer, et cetera, and, uh, fasting. I was fasting as well. People talk about intermittent fasting, et cetera, et cetera. And that's, uh, that's a video for another day. But, um, yeah, man, today I definitely want to, uh, announce to the YouTube world, to myself that I want to, you know, definitely, uh, get back into the semen retention mode, you know, clear my mind up, focus on things, et cetera, et cetera. And, and a lot of people talk about the universe, right? How things come back and, you know, things go your way. You have a certain glow to you. Um, you know, women are more attracted to you, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, one thing I can speak to is, um, people like to talk about when they participate in semen retention for X amount of time, 
uh, that talk about being more attractive to women, women hungering after them. They can they can see that they can feel their energy and know that, you know, that other women want it, especially when you're um, abstaining from sexual intercourse or something about it. I'm not going to go in too much depth with that because I didn't experience that to the extent a lot of people talk about it like, you know, uh, a female, a female lion, you know, a lioness out in the wild just ready to take down her food, you know what I mean, ready to take down, you know, her prey, and I'm not going to say literally, I'm not going to go into that depth, but I do feel like, you know, because, you know, not to speak personally, but got, a lot of people like to objectify women and look at them just as objects and et cetera, et cetera, um, and, you know, a lot of guys don't know how to speak to women when they're so, you know, tied up into, you know, pornography sexual intercourse masturbation etc etc they don't take the time to get to know women talk to them in the right way all they can focus on is you know ejaculating sex etc so they objectify women i'll tell you this during my time of that you know like the abstinence point i don't feel like i ever objectify women but i would say that i was having deeper conversations like conversations and talking about things because my mind wasn't in the gutter it wasn't in the clouds just thinking about stuff that i that wasn't you know in the present time that's one thing you'll be in the present you'll experience things in the present you know that feeling when you're doing something but you're not fully there fully focused because you're focused on you're worried about the next thing you can do that's kind of the, the the whole ideology behind it man like i felt like every like i wasn't thinking about if i could make this girl my girlfriend you know what i mean talking to women just having an honest conversation i feel like that ties into them reading your energy knowing that it's not diluted in the sense that you trying to talk to me for the wrong reasons when a girl knows that you really interested in her for her and you just talking to her and it's not about where this can go that's something powerful in its own man but like a lot of my, my 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 daily routines or things I did change, you know, waking up earlier, like I said, trying to be more active, um, you know, the whole misconception of thinking like, you know, masturbating was a release, a stress reliever. I needed it to fall asleep, et cetera, et cetera, went out the window. You know what I mean? Like once you can reconfigure your mind to think in certain ways um, and act in certain ways, man, you unstoppable. That's why, you know, no one can stop you. The mind is powerful, man. As long as you have uh, discipline and self-control, you can do a lot of great things. Um, and with that being said, I feel like I want to kind of realign my energy, realign my values and strengths um, in the sense that, you know, they've been derailed. There's been distractions, you know. You know, in life, there's always going to be distractions, things that get in your way, um, et cetera, et cetera. But we we, we, we don't want to, you know, bite into those for the sake of, you know, normality and people falling into line thinking that we're doing things because society does them and it's normal. So, yeah, man, you can see the title. I'm definitely going to take a journey and don't want to put a time mark on it. I just want to let it be natural, organic. Um, in, in this semen retention journey and obviously, you know, go past the three month period, um, infinity and beyond, you know, um, and just see how things change. And, you know, obviously how, you, you know, your mind and your thoughts open up a little bit more. Um, I, there's a lot of people that make videos on this and there's a lot of experiences that people go through that not everybody goes through. Um, you know, people talk about being less depressed people talking about you know like reasons why women aren't attracted to you won't talk to you and you know energy and things that are deeper than the physical are, are very real you know um things of that nature you know if you believe in the spirit you know that's all real our physical nature is just all physical nature it's just physical desires material desires that come from a deluded mind and that's my opinion on it and, um, you know, we all want change in life, but nobody wants to change uh, for the better. People want to change for their own self-desires, you know what I mean? Um, and when you learn how to, like, cut things off or limit yourself in certain avenues that you've been abusing things, doors will open up for you, man, and opportunities, etc. I do believe in all of that. Like, literally, I felt like you know, when I was taking that time doing semen retention, I was blessed beyond belief, like doors open for me, you know, 
things were just so natural and easy, man. And, uh, you know, I give it to the man upstairs. I felt, really felt in my heart like he was blessing me and, um, you know, he was walking with me in that light. You know, I'm not going to try to act like my scenario is your scenario. But I wanted to kind of commentate on this and take a journey on this to share with you guys. Of course, I'm going to be um, updating you guys um, periodically. Um, and all y'all can really do is take my word for it, right? But, you know, I, I, I'm trying to stand true uh, to what I'm trying to do. And this just solidifies it and stamps it once this video is published. It's out into the world. You know what I mean? I put it into the atmosphere. So with that being said, let me know y'all's thoughts on semen retention in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, definitely appreciate your support out there. Those who are watching the video and those who's on the journey right now, keep pushing, man. We can all do it. We can all do it. And after time, things become normalized, man. It's just about breaking that initial chain. Once you break it, it's broken, man. Um, and whether you want to break it or whether you want to go back into the same routine, that's up to you at that point. You know, but with, with that being said, man, God bless everybody. Everybody stay positive, stay 10 tones down out here. You know what I mean? To the next video. Peace.